Anyone who actually watches my content might actually be curious on my thoughts on Anita Sarkeesian, maybe, and probably may want to see me try ripping her apart or critiquing her videos, but personally, I don't really see the point. And taking into account what happened at VidCon, I really don't see the point in even critiquing her anymore. Like, to me, she's done. Sure, she still has this influence over the over this industry for some reason, but I don't... At some point, she's going to be irrelevant. Like, all you can really say about Anita at this point is she's beyond moronic. She's gone beyond it. There's not much to say. What, what has been said about Anita has already been said by hundreds or if not thousands of YouTubers. So even if I did make a proper video on Anita where I critiqued one of her videos bit by bit, I'd just be saying the same shit. And plus it doesn't really require much thought to tear her videos apart. It's like it's like me making a video on Jack Thompson or the next newest figure that will come up in the future who condemns video games for blah 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 blah. It's narrow-minded bullshit. It's it's the same song and dance. It's it's gonna happen again. Like what what else is there to say? Like, how many times is video games always going to be put under attack or put under a microscope for every little minute thing? Like, how many times is this going to happen? Like, I figured we, we would be past this by now, but guess not. Still probably going to happen anyways. There's always some fucking dumbass. Ugh, I, don't, I, I really don't know. Given how much influence she has over this industry and how she uses that same influence to garner as much love as possible from the media, no matter what she does wrong, all I can really say is this. One day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world.